about what's happening in Greenland so far, today is the 9th of June in 2016. We started out with a very early, strong, even record-setting melt, uh, re uh, temperature record set uh, in southwest Greenland on like the 11th of April, also exceptionally warm about the 25th of, of April, um, warm spells in May. That with record low uh, Arctic sea ice extent had a lot of us anticipating um, this is looking like it's shaping up to be a, a huge melt year in Greenland, uh, reminiscent of 2012. And what has happened since then is uh, a wave of cold weather, and it's very normal for hot and cold weather to come in waves of about 10 days duration. Um, the last 12 days have been cool, uh, new snowfall that has blanketed that uh, bare ice that, that was um, record low reflectivity in uh, some pretty wide swaths of southwest Greenland. That got covered up with snowfall, so it's even brighter than normal because uh, on average uh, of the past 12 years, this time of year, there should be bare ice exposed. So that just shows how weather from week to week is is normal. And, and uh, uh, looking at the kind of pretty wide swings in the um, heating and cooling in Greenland, um, not necessarily abnormal, but uh, they're really wide. Uh, what was abnormal again was we, we we set some warm records. Um, the extremes on the cold side, those are not record cold. Uh, so it's like this roller coaster, which I think is not abnormal, but it is punching up into some very high uh, temperatures. Uh, we're about to go into, we're in a warming phase now. It's starting to melt again in West Greenland, and that'll continue for the next week. Uh, so we have these kind of week-long spells to keep an eye on. The fact that in the year 2016, the Arctic sea ice is melting faster than on, on record in the last 35 plus years, uh, its connection with Greenland, uh, there's just a, a few studies that are out that, that do suggest that Arctic sea ice is influential on the large scale weather patterns that bring either melting weather or freezing weather to, to Greenland. That, that that impact is is possibly uh, to produce more of the persistence in weather that produces kind of heat wave conditions or, or even cold wave conditions in, in Greenland. Uh, so I think kind of the name of the game, as, as we understand it in 2016, with just a handful of rather provocative and interesting studies, uh, the name of the game is kind of this uh, waviness and roller coaster ish kind of conditions. I think it's noteworthy that today uh, people are watching uh, the Arctic like a hawk. You know, there we're at this point in today's um, observational capabilities. It's unprecedented. We can look at the Arctic daily now uh, from space. This has changed a lot in the last 20 years. When I started in this business, it was the Arctic is a data void. Uh, and now we are awash in observations, mainly from satellite. Uh, those data are going into uh, data assimilation kind of models so that the, the kind of weather information that you can punch up on your computer or, or smartphone today is unprecedented. We're not going to miss anything uh, this year. Um, a lot of us anticipating a big melt year in 2016 where I'm checking it every morning because we have products on polarportal.org uh, that you can punch up daily. Uh, what's the haps in Greenland and the Arctic? And, and we're just one of about five different web providers now that, that you can look at near real time conditions. Uh, so, um, you know, we can all kind of. Uh, grab some popcorn and hope it doesn't get too interesting this summer in the Arctic.